I'm sorry, Catherine. You've never disappointed me, Tom. Nor you me, my love. Nor you me. My fellow signatories, believe we have struck the first successful blow for freedom. The next blow, which we have no doubt Ireland will strike, will win through. In this belief, we die happy. Thomas J. Clark, Kilmainham Jail, 3rd of May 1916. Saturday, April 29th, 1916. Somewhere in Moore Street. My darling Grace, this is just a little note to say I love you and to tell you that I did everything I could to arrange for us to meet and get married, but that it was impossible. Except for that, I have no regrets. We will meet soon. My other actions have been as right as I could see and make them, and I cannot wish them undone. You, at any rate, will not misjudge them. Give my love to my people and friends. I wish we were together. Love me always as I love you. Joe. Joseph Mary, this a ship today, he present him in terms of... It was down by the glen.
die at dawn. I am ready to die, and I thank God that I die in so holy a cause. For myself I have no regret. The one bitterness that death has for me is the separation it brings from my beloved wife, Muriel, and my beloved children, Donna and Barbara. It breaks my heart to think that I shall never see my children again. But I have not wept or mourned. I counted the cost of this and am ready to pay it. Muriel has been sent for here. I do not know if she can come. She may have no one to take the children while she is coming. If she does.
dearest love, Muriel. Thank you a million times for all you have been to me. I have only one trouble in leaving life. Leaving you so. Be brave, darling. But for your suffering, this would be all joy and glory. Goodbye. Your loving husband, Tomás McDonough. Shan McDiarmid, before paying the penalty of death for my love of Ireland and abhorrence of her slavery, desire to make known to all my fellow countrymen that I die as I have lived, bearing no malice to any man and in perfect peace with Almighty God. The principles for which I give my life are so sacred that I now walk to my death in the most calm and collected manner. I meet death for Ireland's cause, as I have worked for the same cause all my life. God save Ireland. Sean McDermott. Brisun Hilwain on, and Shach the Lord of Yaltana, Milan Egade Shay Jag. The Mwakin Vacht Ronan. On the Aharatar T. Boss the Isle of Myrach, her son the Heron. Tor Arawa, hold the watering. Go good you dear and Vertigi. Agus Kadogashay sail father for we ho, Agus for we wash a river rain. Go 
Anya. Or Van. Kunye shot a grievna or my Anya, a vila raw. Aber le ron on go willem a foil vash er son the heron. Nor he hook his key lag his tishkin jagger, tiki shay on maid shin. My dearest Anya. My poor little sweetheart of how many years ago. Ever my comforter. God comfort you now. What can I say? I die a noble death for Ireland's freedom. Beach Mishnachad, a story in Mukhri. Tog the Hyan Nagas Beach Fajad go vek me the Hela Rish, if Lahish day. Tossa, Misha. Agus Ronan Biok Biok Bocht. Adieu. Amen. When boyhood's fire was in my blood. I read of ancient free men For Greece and Rome Who bravely stood Three hundred men and three I might see our fetters rent in twain, and Ireland long a province be a nation. Ireland has shown she is a nation. In the years to come, Ireland will honour those who risked all for her honour at Easter 1916. Squad, ready? Aim. Fire! This is the death I should have asked for if God had given me the choice of all deaths. To die a soldier's death for Ireland and for freedom. We have done right. People will say hard things of us now, but later on, they will praise us. Oh, love.